there is a lot going on here. First off, as you can clearly see, because they got their branding all over it, this is a prime video film now, as Paramount, uh, who has been, uh, you know, selling movies left and right to their usual uh, buyer Netflix, but now Amazon Prime is in the mix. You know, Amazon Prime, we talk about streaming services all the time now, and Prime isn't really part of the conversation. I think that's because with Amazon Prime, it's the only one where you sign up for free two-day shipping, and oh look, you get videos as a bonus. I think that The Boys has been obviously a big, especially season two. It, again, I really hated it, but it was the right call to go to a weekly release schedule because it kept The Boys in, the, in conversation for a long time, and therefore it also kept, in some ways, Amazon Prime in the conversation for a long time. Now, Prime has always been in the conversation you know, for, for a while now when it comes to awards, but with fandom? This is new for them, and I think I think they've had a taste, and now they'd like to keep it going. So that during this pandemic, they've been trying to get themselves some movies. Uh, I'm not sure if movies work so well for streaming services. I think because I think streaming, we'll see. Because because of the pandemic, everyone's getting more into the movie business in the streaming area. But I think, what do you prefer? I think you know people love to binge, or I think that they like the longer stories, which streaming can can do. But anyway, Prime started out with My Spy, which was so successful for them. They're trying to get a sequel together, but Dave Bautista, I don't know if he wants to be in the if he wants to be in the Amazon Prime business. Uh, he has no problem with streaming. He's in Zack Snyder's uh, upcoming zombie movie on Netflix. Uh, but then, obviously, they also got. Um, Borat, which they spent $120 million for, which I, uh, I was the first to report to you. That, that was just incredible. I don't think they got their money's worth on that. And it's been reported that they've spent about the same on this movie. Uh, and we'll see if it can make a splash. It's now coming out. It was supposed to come out for the holidays in theaters from Paramount, but now it's coming out March 5th. Uh, what does Coming to America, the sequel, look like in a post-Black Panther world? I'm very curious to see. Eddie Murphy has been trying to have a comeback for a while now. He comes oh so close, but I don't think he's fully done it yet. Uh, so let's let's take a look. They released some first look photos the other day, and it was impressive how much everyone looked exactly the same as they did in the first movie. Is, is the is the sequel is the movie as good as the photos? Uh, let's let's take a look and see if it looks like something that will get a little conversation going. You must heed my words before I'm gone, my son. That is beautiful. Now, you will be king. But the throne must pass to a male heir. What? Hakim, it appears you have a son. He must be found. Prepare the royal chant. We are going back to America. Oh, hell no, your majesty. <laughs> Come on! I'm back! Wow. Is this not a real trailer? I'm the king of this shop. This fucking hell. Well, well. Say it again. Wow, that's good makeup. That was incredible. It's so good to see you. Well, Abby. Damn, look who done come up in here. Hey, it's Kunta Kinte and Ebola. Famine and blood diamonds. Nelson Mandela and Winnie. Those hungry babies with the flies on the face. Hey, oh, 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 that's too much. Now, you stepped over the line. Now, we were talking that kind of shit about the hungry babies. You're going to have to get out of my chair. Politically incorrect. So what you doing back here, Hotel Rwanda? <laughs> I'm back. Say it again. I think it looks pretty good. I'm a little nervous. I hope it's like a real movie and not just like Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall having fun, which could be entertaining, to be fair, but I want it to be like a, an actual full movie, you know, with the three-act structure and, you know, all that. I just don't want, you know, he doesn't want to do an Adam Sandler, and that really hurt Adam Sandler, ultimately. He made a lot of money at first, but the formula became too obvious. And, you know, that's that Adam Sandler would just 
find a way to get a studio to pay for all of his friends to just hang out together and sometimes go on vacation. And I don't think that Eddie Murphy wants to go down that same path. Uh, Adam Sandler, interestingly enough, has also gone to streaming. Although this was, to be fair, supposed to be a movie. It was made to be a movie, and you can see that movie money. Streaming films look pretty good, but the visual effects on this uh, look excellent. They look, you know, at the be and I think that I love the design of, uh, you know, the royal chambers and everything. And I think that the framing is really nicely done. It has a really nice feel to it. And it does remind me so much of the first film, which is great. Uh, and the America stuff's so important though. I wish they'd focused a little bit more on what it's like when they arrive. But March is a long way away. This is clearly a teaser. So what did you think? Share your thoughts down below, subscribe today. And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.